train terminates at the next station, South Shield. Hello, thank you for joining me. You know where we're going to. We're going to South Shields because the announcement just said the next train is terminating there. If you're wondering what's going on, I'm not actually driving the train. You just can sit at the front of the current Tyne and Wear Metro trains. They have an offset cab. Today is an episode of Military Railway Britain. We're going to South Shields to visit the Lakeshore Railroad. Very American sounding, I know. I'm just about to go over this flyover. If you want to see more of this, my plan is also while I'm up here to film various drivers I've used and you'll be able to watch those in the future they'll, they'll appear on my YouTube channel possibly next year but today I'm going to continue on riding when we get to South Shields we're going to walk across the town and we're going to go and find a nine and a half inch gauge miniature railway quite a rare gauge So here we are, we've arrived at South Shields. I do really like these Metro trains I've currently got, but they're not gonna be around for much longer. So if you wanna sit at the front and enjoy pretending to be the driver, you need to come up to the Tyne and Ware area fairly soon. So you've got a little driver's cab just there, if you look at between the units. And then, yeah, so see, that's how I was doing it. I didn't wanna turn the camera around because a lot of people got the cabs there, and then you've got that little area there. So that's how, that's how I did that trick of being at the front. This railway, the one we're going to, when I last visited it, it was a bit different because this South Shield station wasn't here. The Metro train continued beyond, that's where I was sat at the front, continued beyond over the road bridge and you can see an abandoned platform. That was where it went to, but when they rebuilt the bus interchange, they moved the station to here. So the Tarnal where Metro has actually shortened itself a little bit. It hasn't actually lost any stations. So I'm gonna leave uh, our little Metro train. That's gonna go back off to Newcastle and around the loop. We're gonna go to the Lakeshore Railroad. So after walking for approximately 15 minutes from South Shield Station, I'm now in South Marine Park. And it's in here somewhere where this miniature railway is. I remember coming here once before. The last time I visited was a January Sunday afternoon and they're running steam. So it's, it's nice to find a railway that does run all year round because generally most railways don't. I mean, this is a weekday, it's school holidays, but they are running. So it's not, I've got to wait till the weekend. I can come and enjoy my Friday afternoon enjoying a ride on the railway. Now it goes around the lake, this railway, so I think what happens is here, or over there, yeah look, I can just see there's a lake over there, so I'm gonna continue across this grass, down to that lake, let's go and find this miniature railway. There's the lake, the railway station is just over there where the ice cream van is. I've already heard the sound of an American whistle, so what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna hang around here and see the train pass, the railway encircles the lake. So here's the rail line here. Let's wait here and see this big American steam engine pass us and then we'll go and have a ride. I found the railway station. Good to see the train go past. It's gone off on another trip, so the train will be steaming along the other side of the lake. So we can watch her arrive. There she is. 
brilliant American loco. So this line, it's been here since 1972. Always ran around the lake, and like I say, it's nine and a half inch gauge. Very unusual gauge. It's not the only one, there are one or two about, but they're very rarely open to the public, so this is quite a unique railway. Let's wait here, let's see the train arrive, and then we're gonna go for a ride.
And now on the other side of the lake, the other thing you can do here is hire pedlo, so that looks quite fun. I'm over near the engine, look, I've noticed this bit of track that ends here. This must be how they get their visiting locomotives on and off. Now what I find quite fascinating is, well that line runs here. Be a bit careful here, because uh, like that is the main running line. And then the sheds are over there. And what I particularly like is how the main running line runs across a crossroads off the line to the shed. So to get to the shed, or one of the sheds, the trains branch off here, they run along this bit of track, and then they they cross the line, the main running line. So yeah, I quite like that. I'm gonna hang around, perhaps watch a train pass through here, because I think it's around here where she does a really big whistle, and then um, I'm gonna make my way out and back towards Newcastle. I've had a great afternoon here at the Lakeshore Railroad. It is a very pleasant miniature railway to get to and the moment, like I say, well, you can come here on the metro and sit at the front, even more fun. It runs pretty much every weekend of the year and it runs every day during school holidays. So it's one of the ones, you know, you don't have to worry about thinking, is it the first Sunday or the first Sunday? It runs most of the time, which is great. And as I mentioned before, you can also have fun on the water. I'm not gonna do that today, but it is something you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the lake, which the Lakeshore Railroad circumnavigates.